News Flash, a significant development in the Oxford High School shooting case. James and Jennifer Crumbly, parents of the shooter, Ethan Crumbly, have been sentenced to 10 to 15 years in prison for involuntary manslaughter. The court criticized their lack of accountability and parenting choices, emphasizing the missed opportunities to intervene. The victims' families, bearing the weight of deep pain and loss, urged for the maximum punishment. Rewinding to the events leading up to the tragic incident, Ethan Crumbly exhibited disturbing behavior that included bringing a bird's head to school, displaying bullets in class, and making alarming social media posts. School officials were aware of these actions, yet they failed to take appropriate measures. Instead of reporting Crumbly to Child Protective Services, they allowed him to return to class without searching his backpack. Tafts, a decision that ultimately led to the deadly shooting. The lawsuit implicates both the school officials for mishandling Crumbly's behavior and the Crumbly parents for their alleged negligence in securing the gun used in the shooting. The case raises questions about the school's response to warning signs and the accountability of both school officials and the Crumbly family. Fast forward to the present, the defiant Crumblies head to prison. The judge, while delivering the sentence, emphasized the preventable nature of the tragedy and the devastating impact on the victims' families. The lack of remorse and accountability from the parents was highlighted by the prosecutor and the victims' families. To summarize, the Crumbly parents have been sentenced to 10 to 15 years in prison for their role in the Oxford school shooting. Their lack of accountability and parenting choices were criticized by the court. The victims' families have expressed deep pain and loss, urging for maximum punishment. The case has sparked a broader conversation about the responsibility of parents and school officials in preventing such tragedies. 